What's up, everybody? This is Midnight Sports here, and um, the Astros just suffered a terrible loss. Keuchel, he was pitching great those first couple of innings, and then, ay ay ay, back to back home runs allowed. Take him out, put in Dan Strawley, and he allows a home run. Astros end up losing five to nothing. Uh, Tanaka, he ended up being the player of the game, pitching all nine innings with 12 strikeouts, only allowing like four hits. It was crazy. But let's see how the Astros do. The next coverage or the next game we will cover is versus Boston on April 22nd. So let's see how the Astros do. Oh dear, we lost the series to the Yankees, but they're offering us a trade. So let's see what this looks like. They want our rookie Lesper, Lester Vespires, um in exchange for Anthony Chawarzak. His overall is pretty high. Anthony Chawarzak, where are you? No, definitely not. I'm not... Yes, I wish to decline that trade. That is not a good trade. So currently, the Astros are now 3-4. and four. Let's send through this date. Now the next matchup is going to be Lance McCullers versus Clay Buckles. Astros 9-7, and seven, Boston 5-11. and 11. Let's take a look at the um, stats for the team. So Jose Altuve having a breakout average. I mean, wow. Let me actually get over to the averages first. Here we go. Average, a 371 average after going 0 for 4 in the first game. And Altuve has had 70 at-bats, 2 jacks, 6 RBIs, 5 stolen bases, and 26 hits leads the team there. Mariznick is right behind him with a 321. Mariznick has 1 bomb, 1 RBI, and a stolen base, and a 321 average. Correa, right behind them. First batter on this list that's not that does not have a 300 average. He bats a 286 with five home runs. Then it's Duffy with a 273, Gaddis with a 245, Tucker with a 239, Gomez with a 233, Singleton with a 229, and Stelassi with a two uh, with the 217, Springer with a 208, very low for him. And Castro batting, ay ay ay, point oh nine one, a ninety one. Oh my gosh. Keiko one of one, twenty three innings pitched, fifteen strikeouts. McCullers zero oh, for two, looking for his first win next game. He has fifteen strikeouts as well and eighteen innings played. McHugh two and one, seventeen strikeouts. Fister. 1-0 has played 22.1 innings, 9 strikeouts, and a 2.01 ERA. Beautiful. Lowest ERA so far. And then Mike Fires with a 2.7 ERA, 2-1, two 20 innings pitched, 23 strikeouts. Let's take a look at the uh, relief pitchers. Pat Neshack not having the best year. Gregerson, Luke Gregerson with a 3.0 ERA. Strawley with a 1.59, arguably the best one on the roster, except for this man right here, Ken Giles, getting the job done as a save, as the save man with no ERA whatsoever, 0.00, it's what you love to see. So what we need to do is we need to go and we need to set up these lineups. Alrighty guys, so that's it. Astros currently two games back behind the Angels looking for that um looking for that first place spot. Let's take a look at the batting averages. Mike Trout absolutely dominating with seven jacks already. Altuve in fourth so far with a 371. Not even close to Corey Dickerson or Mike Trout. 
Let's take a look at hits. Altuve, five hits behind Trout. Donaldson has more at-bats than anyone. Altuve has 70. Josh Donaldson has 75. Altuve is almost tied for doubles. He just needs one more. For triples, Raja Davis has that one in the bag with three, followed by two for most people. Kevin Pillar has one and leads that group. Pablo Sandoval. That's actually surprising. Shots fired, I know. <laughs> now, home runs. Trout leads everybody with seven. And one Encarnacion is... Um, he's got six. And Chris Calaba with four. All right. Wow. Tula, Witzke, Donaldson, and Bautista with three. Jeez. And Pilar with three. Jeez. It looks like Yak City is doing a pretty good job with that team over there. Shout out to my boy Yak City. Giving me some love. Gotta love the Yak City. Go and check him out if you haven't already. Alrighty, and then RBIs, Edwin Encarnacion. You're doing a pretty good job with that team, man. Leading the league in RBIs and runs Mike Trout. So guys, it looks like that's gonna be it for this uh, simulation video. Next game, Boston versus Houston. At Minute Maid. Be there, be square, and I'll see you guys in the next one.